He reaches us by His humanity and He reaches heaven by His divinity. He bids us by faith in a third person coming down from heaven to deal with us. Is that what He said? Did He ever say that? There's another God I'm going to send to you so He'll take care of instead of me. No, that's not anywhere. In reality, that's pure fable. What he said was to have faith in him. He himself, Jesus, only. Okay? Have faith in him. If we have faith in him, then we can attain to the glory of the character of of God. There it is in black and white. Be perfect as your Father means. Have a character like God. And so Jesus then tells us the thing we need to know and tend to miss. There's only one way you can do this. The source of all of this is the Father Himself. We must have the Spirit of the Father. Not one third of the Godhead as people talk about, but the full Godhead of the Father. He is the Godhead. He is the Supreme Deity. There are not two Godheads. There are not Two or three people who make up a committee who are in the Godhead. No, the Godhead is a person. It is the person of the Father. He is the Godhead. He gave that Godhead to His Son. So it is in His Son. Jesus is the fullness of the Godhead in Himself because the Father gave it to Him. That. That means that there are two deities. That doesn't mean there's two supreme gods. It only means there are two deities. There's a father and there's a son. And a father and son never become one person. It's never happened. It can't happen. Okay? So, God is the source of all righteousness. Jesus has that righteousness and He is the one that gives it to us. The Father does not give us the righteousness directly. It has to be in Christ. Jesus is the only way we get any of this. 